I'm Omer Chocobo, and I play video game videos for the internet. I also have to remember that when I'm doing a Game Boy game, I have to have it in 4-3, or it turns into a stretch out mess. But I like Zelda games, and this is no difference. It's from our buddies Capcom. This game was made in 2001, and it was meant to send the Game Boy Color out with a bang. Of course, this green clothed protagonist is not Lamiza. It's not Tingle. It's Link! He's back from Link's Awakening! It's another Game Boy game. Also Game Boy Advance. I'm playing the Game Boy Advance version of it, because it has a few additional things. But, this is like just after Majora's Mask, and just before Four Swords Wind Waker. Canonically, came after Link's Awakening. Somehow he made his way back to Hyrule. I'm not quite sure how. He lost his boat, and he saved a Sky Whale, and killed a Cedric. But, the Triforces are involved in this game. Because, you know, Ocarina of Time made those a thing now. Like, more important than in Link to the Past. And now we just got kidnapped by them. Gee, I don't remember that being in the canon. But, this is the game that came right after Link's Awakening. Happens to be... The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons. You might notice there's some familiar music going on here. Link's Awakening music! Link gets woke. But this is the game that came right after. You guys voted for it? There was an interesting history I learned about this game. It was originally the uh, original Zelda remake. But because it was on the Game Boy, hardware constraints made it difficult to develop, and Capcom said, hey, let's get Miyamoto in on this. Because there was a problem with the screens translating over to Game Boy. And Miyamoto said, hey, let's just make a Triforce series instead. Hey, let's not have that uh, intro play again. But this game is meant to be the mystical seed of power. We're just gonna go ahead and delete that. You don't need to see that. He's dead now. But this is an action-focused game. Its uh, sister version is the Oracle of Ages, or the Mystical Seed of Wisdom, and that's puzzle-focused. I'm okay with both, but you, pu you pick power. You are all Ganondorf. There's also a Mystical Seed of Courage, but that never made it to development, so let's just assume that's Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land. Yeah, that's Courage. But this game has some interesting additions to it. It added, like, a, a Pokémon, like, um, dual version thing going on with the, the Oracle Seasons, Oracle of Ages. You could trade things between the games. You could have secrets to trade between the games. You could only complete the entire adventure by playing both the games and doing a Link version with the other game. It, it's, it's complicated, it's weird, and a lot of these things didn't survive other Zelda games. Gee, I wonder why. So, in a weird way, it's kind of a black sheep of the family, I guess. But this precedes Aegis in the timeline anyway, so maybe it's fate. But as we previously saw, the Triforce is kind of rebelled against Link. And now they're saying, hey, you got a quest now. Hold on, let me take a look at something. Okay, it says real colors. Those colors look a little weird to me. But the first time I recorded this, I realized the screen was stretched out like crazy. And that doesn't work for a Game Boy game like this. The pixels get chunky. Anyway, th that girl had no relevance to the story. It wasn't Marin. Kind of stuck in here, though. Um, where are we? Hey, the music got louder! Horon Village! That doesn't help me. Are we still in Hyrule? Yeah, they're trying to go for a stereo thing going on here. If you're over here, you don't hear it as well. But still, it's a, it's a Game Boy game. This is the, one of the last of the Game Boy games. So, the Game Boy Advance thing didn't really settle in the place yet. Hi, how are you doing? Ah, I'm doing alright, where am I? Oh, hey, I know you! 
It's Link! You know Link! We're familiar. Actually, we wouldn't be familiar. Impa wasn't in Link to the Past, was she? But the girl was named Din! Hey, I know a Din. Is it the same Din? Ah, our nightmares! That's a reference to Link's Awakening. We fought nightmares. Maybe the whole shipwrecking thing was a nightmare. Maybe Link never traveled at all. So this is a troop of performers. They're getting snockered out in the woods and dancing. While Link was passed out in like a random patch of grass, just like right over there. It's kind of rude when you think about it. Thin's a dancer. She could raise her stats by dancing. Well, I knew my spirits raised. I don't know why I'm here. How? I think this is a very good question. How was she taking care of him? Certainly couldn't eat or drink while he was passed out. Oh well, I guess you would say she's fiery, huh? This is why I have the messages going quickly. Because they fit so little text into these boxes. Alright, I already have a girlfriend! Awesome! I'm gonna lift you in the air now. This, this color looks off to me. I'm gonna be messing with this on the off-screen, because I don't think my real color setting is taking hold. Hi, how you doing today? You know what? It's all Din. Din's doing all of this. She's making the menu a bit more fire. By making it a bit more orangey than usual. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Have you seen Triforces flying around? Mystery abound! Uh, awesome! Let's drink! Maybe the Triforces were like, you need a vacation, Link. Like, totally. You gotta stop doing the adventure thing, man. Your quest is to chill out. So let's chill out. Dancing will be fun! Notice Link's hand. Yeah, they subscribe to the whole Triforces in the hand thing. From Ocarina of Time. Yeah, it's my first time doing that. Din can't Triforce. Yeah, and they somehow kidnapped me. Yeah, I like how she said, if it's a true symbol, like people are just walking around with tattoos of Triforces on their hand. We have a special fate! A special fate! A fate so special we say it twice. Something tells me Din wants to, you know, kindle some things with Link. Let's keep dancing now. What's the worst thing gonna happen? I didn't get to finish saying it! That dancing was terrible! Did I see a dab? Oracle Seasons, that's a title drop! Onox! General of Darkness! It was just mentioned right now! Fear him! Well, oh, crap, this ain't good. All the hobos are dead. I'll defend you! I don't have a sword or anything! No, I refuse! What are you gonna do? Ah! Rude! Bring back my girlfriend! Well, Link didn't think this one out clearly. He's probably impaled on a tree somewhere now, and evil has won. Game over! Now we get to see the ending sequence. This was Oracle of Seasons. So this is the Kingdom of Holodrum! And now it's going to have a bad day. Everything's going to die, because I'm evil! What is it with evil guys and worlds of darkness? You don't need them. Ah, can't they wish for, like, a really good Hot Pocket? You can't stop me! I'm evil! Agnim called. He wants his trap chicks and crystal thing back, please. 
And he just turned her into... What did you do? Turned her into a five rupee piece! You monster! All of you fall into fall! Ah oh, man, I should have said autumn, it would, would have been cooler then! Drat, I always think of these at the last minute. The tower is falling, I can't bring it back up! Ah crap, I'm bad at this evil guy thing. So this game wasted absolutely no time getting to the evil part. Usually it's just Zelda getting in some trouble. But nope, the seasons are all out of whack now. And Link's still alive, though! Yeah, sadly. You just said you were the cook or something. She's the goddess of Hyrule! No, oh, and this game, she's the Oracle of Seasons. She controls the forces of nature using fire. And of course, Zelda has her light powers because she has the Triforce of Wisdom, and she saw things happening to Din. Therefore, Impa had to take care of it. So she's secretly a member of Hyrule. Gee, I wonder when we could figure out this one. But now she's wounded. She won't be able to save the Oracle of Seasons. Man, if we only had a hero. Because the Triforce kidnapped me, I told you this! Impa can't Triforce either. you have, like, a, a sword or something? No, instead she just tells us, hey, there's a Maku tree nearby. Is that anything like a Deku tree? How many different trees are there in the planet of wherever Hyrule is? So we're gonna talk to the Maku tree, maybe he can help. Something tells me he is going to be a loose term in this game. The overworld music from Link's Awakening is here. I like it, but now I'm wondering what the heck did Capcom do? I mean, we got Link o Link's Awakening assets, and we got Link's Awakening music. What did Capcom do that was different? Oh no, the cat's stuck in a tree! Our first quest! If only we had some fish, I would give this guy a sword. Sadly, we can't save the cat. The cat's going to starve. You can't get that treasure, either. And if we go up this way, there's bush. And no, not that kind of bush. I guess we're forced to go to Horon Village. Where it's springtime! Oh, wait, no, this is summer! It's kind of random what season you're going to get when you enter Horon Village. Last time, uh, I got- I had spring. And this thing was activated. And this kid is saying, hey, we could bounce on this if it was springtime. And if you come here in the spring, he's bouncing on it and say, hey, you can bounce on this, it's cool. You can't wait till springtime. Heaven knows when that's gonna be. Seasons are out of whack. Anyone ever notice this? Hey, do you know where uh, a Maku tree is? Okay, thanks. Awesome. Gonna head east. Gonna find a Maku tree. Gonna get a sword off the Maku tree. Maybe. This doesn't look like a Maku tree. You lied to me! I'm gonna complain. I'm complaining at you. Oh, good. Great place to complain! He's fascinated with Gasha nuts. Now, uh, some of the beef I have with this game series is it has a lot of RNG involved in collecting things. Gacha nuts are one of those things. We might as well just call them gacha nuts. Because that's exactly what they are. A gacha game. But the mayor has one, and he's going to tell us all about it. His rule! Mayor of Haran Village. The village idiot. No, but I heard you do. If you plant one, it'll grow into a tree. And it has nuts in it. 
Kind of like Pokemon. And inside the nuts, you'll find all sorts of items! Depending on how many enemies you kill. Of course, we can't kill any. I don't have a sword. There's some soft earth right outside. You can plant them there. But I, I don't know about Gasha seeds. You need to show me in practice. Also, there's going to be a little bit of audio crackle. Well, that's because the Game Boy Advance one, and I either choose audio crackle or I choose things strobing out like crazy. I remember Link's Awakening. Anyway, we got a gotcha seed. We can plant it outside. We might get something awesome. We might get something crappy. Likely we'll get something crappy, because this is a very easy spot. They'll give you better things if there's a more difficult spot where you plant the seed. And I don't even know if I'm going to get all the hard pieces in this game, because one of them involves planting a gotcha seed and coming back later. Like that one there. Of course, you don't need to plant a seed for that one. I'm just saying, hey, hard pieces are in the game because it's Zelda. Yep, I was just there. The Maku tree, I'll follow the sign. Sounds like a great idea. The sign wouldn't lie to me. Why is there a gate? Oh, oh okay, I got that. Hey, open up. Didn't you see, Ocarina of Time? I got courage in my hand. Let me in! Ah, I hate this gate. I'm gonna have to find a way to destroy it somehow. Maybe with a bomb. Wouldn't that be something? You get bombs before a sword in a Zelda game. Hey, dude, have you noticed something's amiss around here? He has! Winter's going straight into summer! Except for the last time I played this where it went to spring instead. Which is normal. But he still says about the summer thing. Well, let's check out the shop. That has nothing in it! How are they doing business? How are you doing business? Why is your door open? You're gonna get robbed. This guy's gonna get robbed. He's gonna get robbed right now by me. I need a member's card! Ah, secret stuff. Oh, let me guess. It's like those grocery stores. You have to be a member to get the good deals. Otherwise they fleece you. Ah. Hero's Cave! On the western coast. There's a sword in there. But no one has ever found it. Something tells me it's a super easy dungeon that only an idiot couldn't solve. So, that something tells me that's where I need to go. Welcome to... place! This is Vasu the Jeweler! He can explain rings! The other RNG aspect of this game. Mystical seeds have powers. If you make them into rings, the powers will be passed to you. But you have to keep it in a ring box. Well, that's kind of terrible. I want the power to last all the time. In fact, I think the power does last all the time. But I don't have a ring box. And I don't have rupees. I like you! You got the seed off the mayor! Here you go, have a ring box. Everybody's so trusting in this town, they have no idea what they're up against. Well, at least you can hold a ring now. And here's a free ring, too! Man, this guy's generous! Alright, I could get it appraised, which is the RNG part. You need to appraise rings to get its power. And until you get its power, you can't wear it. So let's go ahead and appraise! Gee, I wonder which ring I can appraise right now. It is a mystery to me. Let's try this one. Yeah, sure, why not? I call this the friendship ring! I totally didn't make that up, no! Symbol of a meeting. This is a garbage ring, isn't it? So it'll be 20 rupees per ring. You get higher tiers if it's more difficult rings to get. And if you have duplicates, 30 rupees back! At least that's more generous than some loot boxes I know. But that's basically what this is. Gotcha nuts and rings are loot box mechanics. In this game. But 
we could use the list to move a ring into our box. I guess we're going to have to do that now, don't we? I have to equip your stupid friendship ring. It doesn't do anything. I'm not wearing it. Too bad, I'm not wearing it! Also, we got Snick. Blue Snick is Ring Fortunes. If you have somebody that has Oracle of Ages, you can link with them, and you'll get a free ring with the Ring Fortune. I already explained it. And Red Snick. He just has information about rings. We just got lectured about that. This is the Ring Link Basics. Basically, you, uh, hook up with an Ages, and you get Ring, like Pokémon. And these are Ring Secrets. You have to play both se Seasons and Ages to get the best ending. And sometimes maybe you have an awesome ring and you want to take it over to Ages in your linked game. It'll give you a password and you can go ahead and use your ring. The Know-It-All Birds! Alright, I have many questions, like why the heck am I here? Why do I need a Maku Tree? Why are the Seasons out of whack? Why is Onox such a dork? He's a big armored dork, I hate him. Also, where is a sword? I think that's the most important question to ask here. Where can I find sword? Give me sword. Teach me how to. Let's go ahead and see these know-it-all birds. Oh, that sounds topical. The seasons are in chaos! The globals are getting warmed! They're gonna starve because they can't harvest. Oh, now I know why the color is all messed up. That's not because of the know-it-all birds. I still have it set to the Game Boy Color setting, because this door is supposed to be open otherwise. So I've been playing on the Game Boy Color version. Next time I'll uh, activate Game Boy Advance version and it could open this door and we can see what's inside. But right now, birds. Wanna learn about subscreens? No, not really. I'll teach them about subscreens. You guys all pay attention, you're gonna learn something. Press the start button. There's three different subscreens. I'll go ahead and equip that, why the heck not. And there's also a save feature too, right here. So you don't have to die to save. Which is good. Even though I'm gonna be using, um, save states anyway. Oh, I wanna learn hero skills, sure! A skill for a courageous hero! Hold the sword button you don't have, and you can release it through a spin attack. Other games you have to earn this. In the Game Boy Zeldas, that's not the case. Ah, Mystical Seeds. Yes, they become rings. Thank you. No, I got plenty of maps. Lamalana was lousy with them. I think saving's rather straightforward, actually. I know how to use a shield, I just don't have one. Hand the shield over. I know you got one. All birds have a shield. All birds have bombs, too. They're like dogs. So I know how bombs work. I know how items work. They'll blow you up with a bomb. I know how seasons work. It's called nature. And essences sounds like something we're going to be told about a lot. And therefore, these know-it-all birds are lousy and I hate them. So, this is most of Horon Village. This is a really big town compared to Koholint. So, we're going to be spending a lot of time here if we want to do, like, side quests and all that. Like, we got this dude in this cave over here. Yeah, how do I open that gate? A hero with a sword! Well, I'm gonna need to find a sword. I'm gonna take out that gate. I wanna crash it down. I'm a party crasher. Something tells me this will be important later. But not right now. And that's probably going to be important too. In fact, let's just talk to this guy right now because I need to trash something. Note this room! Doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with this room, is there? The light in here is too dim to read by! Hey buddy, it's a PG-13 game. Don't say that. Now, Link's Awakening, I'm pretty sure we saw dim rooms before. 
The Game Boy Color can do with the technology, but for some reason they just didn't want to do it there. They didn't want to dim the room. But the guy's gonna say, hey, the room is dim anyway. To remind you there's a quest going on in there. Obviously something involving fire. But right now, I don't even have a sword. By this time, by this time, a chain chomp was getting kidnapped, and I had a sword, and I was killing moblins. But no! We got towns, and dins, and seasons, and Onox a dork. Next time on Oracle of Seasons, I'm gonna have this on Game Boy Advance mode, and maybe we'll finally get a sword, or something, some kind of killing implement. Help me out here! Throw me a bone!